Hello world, welcome to a front-end class, where I will try to replicate the Discord server navigation UI. I'll have the home, a bunch of servers, an option to add a server, and another option to explore. By that, I mean just the look of it. Before actually marking things up, I'll try to capture all the things I'll need. A navbar that is as high as a viewport, a list inside it containing these squircles, and also the separator. Alright, let's begin by marking this one up. I'll need a nav and unordered list inside it. We'll give it a class of squircles, which will contain squircle list items. We'll add the divider later, but let's start with some styling. By the way, I already have the reset and color set up, so now I just need the body to be this dark gray color. Need the squircles to have a darker gray background, and each squircle to be a lighter gray than the background. We'll need them all to be circles, so we'll give them the same width and height, and a border radius of 50%. I need the nav to be fixed on the screen, so we'll start by giving it a position of fixed, and a top and bottom of zero is going to fix it in exactly the place needed. But the squircles list will still be of the same height, so we'll give it a minimum height of 100vh, uh, because I'd want it to grow if there are too many servers. Some reading space with the padding, we'll make it a display of flex, and set the direction to column then give a gap of 1 rem. I'll go ahead and add the divider as a list item too, and since the things have been set up with flexbox, the gap will still remain consistent. I'll come back to the style sheet, select the divider, give it a width of 100%, a color of white, and a height of 2 pixels, also a border radius, and significantly decrease the opacity. We're getting there. Next thing is to get the hover effects going for the Squircle class, where I want them to turn to actual Squircles. So I'll come up here, uh, select the hover pseudo class of Squircle, and supply a border radius of 36%. And I need the cursor to turn to a pointer of an on a Squircle, so we'll give the cursor prop to the class. Now that gets us another step closer to the goal. I want the divider to be smaller, so we'll decrease the width to 80%. But that will not be centered. So instead, I'll keep it at 100, but give a scale so that it remains centered because transforming by default happens from the center. Well, this will also decrease the height, but I'm okay with the way it's looking, so we'll just keep it at that. I want some of these to turn purple and some to turn green, so I'll go to the markup and give them different classes based on the color, purple boys and green boys. Now in the style sheet, I can say that when a purple boy is hovered over, I want the background to be blurple, and fantastic green for a green boy. The next thing I'll need are the pills for each of these squircles, which I can achieve with a pseudo element. I'll select the before of squircle, make it a smaller squircle, and push it far left so that it looks like a pill. I'll give it a background of full white. Pseudo elements won't show up without the content prop, which I'll make to be an empty string. I'll need to absolutely position this pill with respect to the squircle, so I'll need to first give a position prop to the squircle, then a position absolute to the before element. Now we're able to see them. We'll need to give them some curvature with border radius, want them to be vertically centered, so the good old trick of top 50% and transform translate y of negative 50% will achieve that. But I also need it to be pushed to the far left, so I'll make it a translate and give both x and y. Or, I could also make the width and height to be 100%, then play with the scaling like I did earlier. I also need to take care of the translate now. Next thing I'll need is the text in black pop-ups. I'll get, I'll get back to the HTML and fill in the details. I'll make a div called popper boy, and each one of them will have an h4 called popper text, containing the actual text. I added in the font family and font color for the body before coming to the markup. Need the popper boy's uh, background to be black, some padding for breathing space, need this one also to be positioned absolutely, and since the nearest parent squircle already has a position prop, I can start doing it right away. Since I want the width to be as wide as the content, I can provide it with the value of max content. A tiny border radius should do better. Time for the same trick, top 50%, translate y of negative 50%. Now I need them to be pushed to the side, so we'll play a little bit with the left prop. 155% is looking good. Now I'll again use a pseudo element for the pointy thing, 
The idea is to have a square rotated by 45 degrees pushed a little to the left. I'll give it a white background so that I can see what's happening. A width and height of 24 pixels, a left of negative 2 pixels, then the same vertical center trick. I forgot the content prop yet again, but it's here now. Now I need to play with the transform prop and just as planned we'll rotate the thing by 45 degrees. Bear in mind that transformations are not commutative, but this is as I wish, so we'll make the background actually black and send it back a layer with Z index of negative 1. Great, it's time for transitions now. Need the squircles border radius and background to be animated, so we'll give a transition prop of border radius and 128 milliseconds. On squircle hover, I need its before to have the transform it currently has, but I want its initial scale to be zero. This is good, but now I need to give a transition of transform to have it smoothly grow. Now for the popper boys, I want them to be fully opaque on hover of the squircle, but should start with zero opacity. We'll give a transition on opacity for 64 milliseconds. It does look better now. For the tiny pop, I'll start it at a scale slightly less than 1, and on hover, make it 1. It's looking good, but to make it look better, I'll make it scale from the left by giving it a transform origin prop. But it isn't animating at the moment because the transition prop only has opacity, so I'll go ahead and add transform with this custom timing function that's supposed to give the tiny bounce effect. And for the last part, I'll steal the SVGs and put them inside the squircles. Also have an image of my server. Okay, before adding more SVGs, I'll center the content inside the squircle by giving it a display of flex, justify content, and align items of center. We'll come down here, select the server icon, and give it a, give it the width of its parent. But I need it to be a circle, so we'll give it a border radius of 50%. But that makes it not change on hover. I'll have this one too, inherit from the parent, and that fixes it. I'll go ahead and add the SVGs for the add server and explore squircles. Now I need these to be green initially, but on hover, white. Back to the style sheet, I'll select the green boy and give it a color of fantastic green. And on hover, color of full white. I see three problems here. One, popper text is changing color. Two, I want the color to animate. Three, I can hover over the invisible popper boy and animate the squircle. I'll give a pointer events of none for the popper boy. I'll go ahead and add the color to the transition on Squircle and explicitly mention a color on Popper Boy so that it doesn't inherit from Green Boy. And there we go. Hope you like watching this. I plan to continue this where I'll try and rebuild the school UI. Teach you in the next one. Thanks for watching.